Puwakata Yahawa, Puwakata Yahawa Sha, Puwakata Yahawa, Puwakata Yahawa Sha, Puwakata Yahawa, Puwakata Yahawa Sha, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kwadash, Tisha Aki Majula Zeo, back with another quick lesson. Also want to give double honors and a salute to the men I learned this truth from, Shalom Barakatham. Yeah, I want to go into the subject of the temporal and eternal new bodies. The temporal and the eternal new bodies. In the book of 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 1, I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Because this is the second time that I attempt to try to uh, do this lesson. And it reads, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of Yahweh. We have a building of Yahweh, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, man. And that's talking about these um, new bodies that we're going to get, talking about the elect, but ultimately all of Israel is going to get these bodies. But on this side, it's only reserved for the elect to receive and translate into those uh, heavenly bodies, man. In the blink of an eye. Continuing on. For in this we groan earnestly. Desiring to be clothed upon. With our house. Which is from heaven man. So that house is those houses. Going to it. Strong G. 3613. Like a Katie Orkitadion. And it says, the outline of biblical usage. A, it says, of the body as a dwelling place for the spirit, man. And it's talking about those, um, those heavenly bodies, man. Which our spirit, mind, and body is going to be one. It's going to be perfect, man. And we're going to be able to, you gonna, your, your, your spirit is going to be able to what? Dwell in your body. Our spirit and our body, which is our spirit, is uh, is 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 you know your your spirit and your and your your flesh is is two things. It's carnal, you know. You got your 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 uh spiritual uh, uh body more or less is battling with your carnality, your carnal body, man. You know, that's why these these bodies, man, we have to shed them because they're prone to go off. But we're going to get those perfect bodies where our spirit is going to be able to dwell in our body, man, because we're going to be, uh, like I said, we're going to be perfect. Like the, like the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai promised. If so, be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Let's read the New Living Translation. While we live in these earthly bodies, we groan inside, but it's not that we want to die and get rid of these bodies that clothe us, rather we want to put on our new bodies so that these dying bodies will be swallowed up by life, man. So that's that we're going to be changed at a blink of an eye, man. Verse 5, now he that have wrought us for the self same thing is Yahweh, who also have given unto us the earnest of the spirit. Therefore, we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore we labor that 
whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him, man. So this part, what we're doing, these precepts, these these uh live streams, the uploads, these epistles, you know, going out on the highways and byways, these are labors, man. We're laboring, hoping that we are found accepted by Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we that's why we do these things because we know um the fate of this place, man. Yahweh Why Yahweh Shai has what? The determined a what? Expiration date for this place, you know, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand and one cannot, um, one kingdom cannot exist. <laughs> well, these two kingdoms, like it, the kingdom of heaven, this current system, this current kingdom cannot exist at the same time, man. So one has to be moved out the way in order for another to come in its place, man. So we know these things that we see, these things that we indulge in, that we are, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, living is temporal, man. Verse 10, for we must all appear upon it's like for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amajiak that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done whether it be good or bad let's read a new living translation for we must all stand before Amashiach to be judged we will each receive whatever we des deserve for the good or evil we have done in this earthly body, man. So we all going to what be judged, man. But the elect on this side is given a pardon, man, to say the least, man, for all the transgressions and slash sins that they have done, man. Those only that's only those chosen spirits. The elect is going to be pardoned for those sins, man. And going to be able to be um, found worthy to be translated into those heavenly bodies, changed in a blink of an eye, you know, to what? Giving that honor to ushering in the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. By the spirit of power, Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. And then I'm, I'm going to end it off there. This was a, a short lesson. On what? The temporal and the eternal new bodies, man. And that's what we earnestly wait for. The elect, man, Lord willing, I'm part of that number. And I hope the body was edified. Till next time, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Raka, Kwadash, This is Aki Majulazil, Lord willing. I'll be back with another lesson. Also want to give double honors and a salute to the men I learned this truth from. Till next time, Shalom, Barakatha, and a Barba Bar, Shalom.